According to a report by the Department of Veterans Affairs, every day in 2010, an estimated 22 veterans committed suicide. Some startling statistics there. WHSV's Katie Kaler spent the day talking with a Virginia veteran who almost became part of that statistic. I thought suicide was the answer. That was before Air Force combat veteran Adam Legrand met Molly. I cried. Uh, it was like a sense of joy and sense of relief of, oh my God, this is, this is my partner now. After years of struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD and a traumatic brain injury and spending more than a year on a waiting list, he got a service dog from Canines for Warriors. The motto unofficially is, you know, rescue a dog to rescue a warrior. And it, it's true. Legrand found Canines for Warriors after years of therapy and medication weren't helping. He also found an unbreakable bond. Some of my best friends who have known me for 15, 20 years uh, plus have said that having Molly, it, it didn't change who I am. It allowed me to be who I've always been. You know, she's been not only a part of my healing, but she's been a part of my growth. And I can't imagine my life without her. Awareness about veteran suicide is growing on social media with the 22 push-up challenge, where people challenge their friends to post videos of them doing 22 push-ups and include statistics about veteran suicide. I don't know what it's like to put my life on the line or suffer from PTSD, but I have struggled pretty severely with depression and anxiety, and I know what it's like to feel hopeless. And so I've always had a tremendous amount of respect for our veterans. After noticing veteran suicides on the rise, Lehman says he decided to start raising awareness. On the community that wanted to help our veterans, that wanted to say thank you, and so we've raised over $60,000 in about three weeks, um, and that's just the beginning. We have a, um, a bunch of events coming up. Legrand says he's excited about the upcoming events and for the future. It feels like I have a blank check and I could write my own, my own path, my own direction. Whereas before I felt as if, you know, um, entering a tunnel. 22. And Morgan and Bob, I challenge you to the 22 push-up challenge. In Harrisonburg, Katie Kaler, WHSV. All right, Katie, challenge accepted gladly. Okay, well. <laughs> well, how about you? You in not with it? On I'll me? do it. All I'll right. do it. Now, we will be sure to post our video on the TV3 mm -hmm. social Facebook page, and we challenge you at home to bring awareness to the issue. Yeah, and be sure to share your videos if you've done any as well.